open open topics that impact your grade in one way or another. Um, let's see, I'm recording, good. So let's pull up the browser here. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So, pulling up the uh, the syllabus here, <clears throat> you've got. Uh, the test of toolbox learning retention fit 500 points that's half your grade I'm going to go over today what topics are in that test okay um, <clears throat> and then also <coughs> professional image development I'm going to talk about the edits that I want you to make to your LinkedIn profiles that's a hundred points and <clears throat> I'm going to talk about things that I still want you to do for your professional development plan, and that's worth 65 points. Yes? The email that you sent today, um, it had, it had like everyone's was that that was the professional development yes. plan, right? Um, I didn't really have any comments under the comment, in the comment box. What? There what? two comment boxes, but one, it just said like one page summary. Do you want me to write a what, one page summary? Um, I'll I'll explain I'll explain that okay. like basically everybody got the same type of comments um, if you here I'll go ahead and go over that first right now so for your professional development plans first of all depending on whether it's a word document a PowerPoint uh, or a PDF um, you access the comments differently. So if it's a Word document, the com comments will be in little comment boxes on the, the right-hand side of the screen. Um, if it's a PowerPoint document, it'll be like little, little comment boxes, like a, a post-it note almost, that are on top of the, 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 the text wherever it is that I made the comment. And you just have to click on the comment box to be able to read the comments. And it's the same thing for a PDF document. If you sent me a PDF, then there's little little yellow post-it note looking things that uh, have the comments in them. You just have to click on the, the post-it and it'll tell you the comments. So if there's two things that I wanted everybody to do. The first thing was something for your mid-range career development. So if you are applying for jobs, I just wanted you to apply for 10 jobs and send me a list of the, the names of the companies that you applied to. Or 
in your case, if you already have a plan for what you're going to do after graduation and you're not applying for jobs, I want you to write a one-page summary of what you're going to do next in your career. Okay? Does that make sense? Um, and then also for everybody in here, for your long-term your long -term, uh, financial goals, I want you to write a pro forma budget for me. So I want you to write a budget with uh, what your future expenses are going to be, and I want you to include in there savings to be able to reach your goals of owning a house or that expensive car that you want. How much are you going to have to save monthly, yearly to be able to afford that? So I want you to put together a spreadsheet with your future expenses and send me the spreadsheet. Does that make sense? So How far in the future are you talking about? Like right after we finish school or like when we're 35? <laughs> For the, the pro forma budget? Mm -hmm. um, after, okay, say like we want to get a house like right after school. Do you, are you talking about, okay, like what would your mortgage payment be? What are you planning on your mortgage payment, be, payment being? Or are you saying like, like before then? Well, um, if you're going to buy a house, you need a down payment. So the down payment has to come from somewhere. Um, if you did not have the down payment, then there'd be savings each month to put away for the down payment until you had enough for the down payment, and then you could buy the house. If you already got the down payment money, then it comes from somewhere else. But I want the, I want the planning for the down payment money to be in the, the budget. Mm hmm okay. that makes sense no it doesn't have to be a house whatever your future goals are if you want to you know if you want to start a business in the future um, the money that you're going to need for starting that business if you want a nice car if you want to be able to travel whatever the goal is savings to be able to reach that goal make sense mm -hmm. okay so that's worth 65 points. Uh, the test of toolbox learning retention I'll go over next. That's 500 points, a whole bunch. Yes? Yeah, sure. Okay, so the test of learning, uh, the, the test of toolbox learning retention, I, I don't have stuff that I'm going to put up there. I'm going to explain to you guys what, uh, what's on it. The thing I do want to point out, um, I don't have a textbook for this class, but I do have webinars that I put together um, that I want you guys to view. So a lot of the test is going to be covering it covers what I talked about in the lectures, but the details of those topics are covered in the webinars. So I want you to go for the, the test. The first thing I want you to do is go to course documents. And all the way up the top of course documents, the very first document, it says webinars. Open that up. And you're going to have several links in here to webinars that are between 10 and 20 minutes long. Um, I want you to watch these webinars before you take the test. Um, what's that? By the end of the semester. And the test is on Blackboard. Um, Can we like go and make, do a few questions and then log out? Or is it just no, you, once you start, you have to finish it in one sitting. Um, so, I want you to view these webinars before you take the test. Um, you can go, you're, it's, it's, it's a test that you take at home. It's open book, open note. So 
You are welcome to look at the webinar again when you're answering some of the questions. Uh, the questions are going to track pretty closely to what's in the webinars. So I've got the lecture content that I talked about in this class, which is the same thing as what's in the, uh, the, the webinars, but the webinars focus on specific points that I want you guys to make sure to take away from this class, okay? That makes sense? So you don't have to read a textbook, but you do have to watch these webinars. So that is, that is the first thing you do. Um, let me tell you about the topics that are going to be on the test. And bear with me here for a second. It's 20 questions. They're short answer. It's basically my goal is that you, you guys write m not just one sentence, like meaty short answers. Uh, it depends on the, the questions are worth different amount of points. So if the question is only worth eight points, then I just need a, a one sentence. If the question is worth um, 40 points, then I want you know a whole paragraph of, 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 of answer. So you should be able to see how many points the question is worth when you're, when you're answering it. Um, So hang on one second here. There we go. Okay, so 20 questions. There's going to be a question on here about what is a good source of image files for, photo, uh, for Photoshop? So a source of getting image files for a project in Photoshop. There's going to be a, qu a, pro a question about um, how to manipulate Photoshop in general. Um, there's a question on just generally how to use Wix and give me, giving me a paragraph summary of, of how to use Wix. Um, there's a question on information that you need from your web hosting company in order to publish material to the web. So that's in the, the, web, that's in the webinar on Dreamweaver. Um, there will be a question on that. Um, there's a question on ensuring that image files are the right size and what file format to save them in in order to use them in Photoshop uh, or to use them, sorry, to use them in Dreamweaver. Um, what, what file format to save them in um, and how to manipulate saving them in the right size. Um, there's a question on uh, including independent files or including dependent files in Dreamweaver. There's a question on um, the data resource that you use for consumer focused market sizing and the data resource that you use for business to business market sizing. So. Uh, each of those is a paragraph talking about the data source that you use for, for getting that information, where you find it, how do you manipulate it. Um, there's a question on the search terminology that you use for patent and trademark searches. Uh, there's a question on the types of information you can find about a competitor using ProQuest. There's a question about uh, the kinds of websites that can give you good information about a consumer-focused competitor in a Google search. There's a question on 
what types of information can you get from a first research industry ro industry profile report? So we we talked about how to find those and what's in them. Um, there's a question on the major steps you should go through to narrow a best practices search on Google. So what what terminology, what steps do you take to narrow down and focus a, a search on, on Google for best practices? Um, there's a question on the major concept in the webinar on grant uh, money. So like we talked about in class, different, different sources of uh, investment money for the business. Um, there's a question on um, the, the major concept that I talk about in the, the webinar on grant funding and um, how that applies, how, how you could apply it to a, an example situation. Um, there's a question on the three major websites that are uh, uh, part of the equity funding research and what each website's good for. So um, I went over in class uh, different three different websites that are particularly good for equity funding research. Uh, I want to know what those three websites are and what each of them is good for. So a paragraph about that. Um, there's a question about the major databases that are used for patent and trademark searches. Um, what they are, what they're good for. Um, there's a question on the seven major elements of a customer vignette. So we talked a lot in this class about customer vignettes. What are the seven things that you're supposed to ask somebody in a customer vignette? Um, there's a question about guerrilla marketing campaigns and all the different elements of, uh, of each of the major facets of that. So word of mouth elements, online elements, offline elements, and event elements. I want you to list um, elements of each of those. Um, there's a question on market positioning maps. So we talked about uh, comparing you, your company to other competitors in a market positioning map here in class. There's a question on um, the, major thing, the major things to keep in mind when you're making a market positioning map. And then finally, um, there's a question on the four major types of financial ratios. We talked about that in the, the class on accounting and financial analysis the four major types of financial ratios and what's important about each of them. And that's your 20 questions. Do I have questions about those 20 questions? Is there a time limit? Okay. Yes, there is a time limit. I believe it's I believe it's 3 hours, but I'm not sure. Let me check and make let me check and make sure. Yep, 20 questions, three hours. Um, so that is the, that's the test of toolbox learning retention. Um, we talked about what I want you to do for your um, your professional development plans. The only thing left is your LinkedIn profiles. So let me pull up, I'm gonna pull up LinkedIn here. Password for LinkedIn.
Okay, cool. So, let me pull up. Um, I'm going to pull up some sample profiles. Uh, does anybody want me to use yours as the, the sample? Okay. Yes. Okay, so this 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 is the same the same thing for everybody in here. Okay, so I want you to add a summary section here. Describing herself, or yeah, describing herself as a professional. Um, I want you to add your work experience. And under the work experience, you're going to have a one sentence description of what the, the responsibilities were. And then you're going to write the sentence, deliverable accomplishments include the following, colon. And you're going to put accomplishments that you accomplished in that job. So number of customers that you talked with or amount of money that you handled, um, number of reports that you had to write. Um, I want numbers attached to these descriptions. So for each job, one sentence about what the responsibilities were, and then the sentence deliverable accomplishments include the following and give me at least one concrete number of something you accomplished in that job. Do that for each of the jobs. Um, and then I want you to add projects, academic projects. So if you go to If you go to the right hand side of the page and add new profile section, accomplishments, you can add projects right there. So I want you to go in and add at least five academic projects to your, your LinkedIn profile. So this, the project you're working on in this class could be one project. Um, uh, and then pick four other classes. It could be uh, your homework assignment from another class. It doesn't have to be a project per se. Um, pick five classes that you, this, this class plus four other ones that you are particularly um, fond of and write down what you accomplished in that class, either for the homework assignments or if it was an actual project, what you did for the project. Does that make sense? Okay, um, that's pretty much what I want from each of you for the LinkedIn profiles. Um, they, you know, some of you have filled them out more than others. So uh, Lupita's was a good example because you have a lot to add still. So um, eventually there will be a summary section here. And then you'll have jobs here with descriptions of each of those jobs. And then down, down here under accomplishments, you're going to have four projects. Okay? Does that make sense? Does that make sense for everybody else? Okay. Um, yes, Lupita. What about background? This? I like it. Yeah, looks like marble. Yeah, I like it. Um, as long as you've got a picture here of yourself or an image of some kind, if you don't, if you don't want to have a picture of yourself, then an uh, image of a cartoon character or, or uh, you know, a, a, 
a cash register or something that looks business professional. Um, make sure you've got an image here. Other questions? Uh, well, I thought the review would take longer than it did. That was, that was all I have to go over today. If you guys don't have any more questions, then we're done. Hi. Okay. Uh, what about the LinkedIn? I have to put five But mm -hmm. uh, I just have this class project, and they have another class. I don't have any other classes I have. Then write what you did for the homework as if it were a project. Okay. And they have another question. So you say that you want us to write about course. Like uh, in the future, uh -huh. where, where I should write that uh, in the test, you know? Um, the thing that we're going to write in the future. So your because plans for your future career? Yeah, where I can write that future career. Uh, just in a Word document. I have to done that uh, uh, and bring it through. Email. Huh? Email it? Yeah, email it to me. Uh, so one page? One page. Okay, what about, like, you know, if everybody is different to the culture? So uh, what should they write? Uh, I'm not paying for huh? house or living. Say again? Like, I'm not paying for house or living. Oh. Um, you know what I mean? No, I yeah. Put, put what you would have to pay if you were paying for it. Nice uh, yeah. Nice stuff. Uh-huh. I, yeah, I write that. Right yep. Now? Okay, sure. Thank you so much. No problem.